morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new i have seriously so much to fill you guys in on i'm a married woman now i didn't vlog at all last week chad and i were on our honeymoon i got married i still have to actually edit my wedding vlog and yeah during our honeymoon week i didn't feel like vlogging chad and i really wanted to like live in the moment spend that time together so we really did have an awesome time. I got a lot of questions too about like why I chose to stay in Florida and not leave the state and it's because of travel anxiety. I just get really, really, really bad travel anxiety and I wanted to enjoy myself for a honeymoon so we thought for the sake of me not having to be stressed out and being able to truly enjoy myself and not get sick, we would just do something in Florida. So it was like five hours away and we spent a week in St. Augustine and it was so much fun. Chad and I both agreed that throughout our marriage, we want to do more trips together. Um, even if it's just like a staycation, it doesn't have to be something big and expensive, but we want to like take time to do things like that together because we had such a good time. But I miss you guys so much. In the last few months, I have slacked so bad on YouTube content and it's just because the wedding stuff had taken over my life, but I am back and it feels so good. Oh, by the way, here is my ring. I love it so, so much more with the wedding band on. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's honestly the best feeling ever. My nails are absolutely gross and they're super thin and damaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my nails right now. And I had acrylic on for my wedding and for my honeymoon week, which makes my nails really, really thin. Like they're literally painful, it sucks. So I'm glad I don't do acrylic anymore ever because um, I do my own nails now, obviously, but I got them done professionally for the wedding. I'm gonna do my nails, but I'm not gonna do like my full blown tips with um, the dip powder and all of that. I'm gonna keep them really short just because my nails are so thin that I feel like they need a little break, um, but they're definitely too thin to just leave like this. So I'm still gonna put nails on but i'm not doing the tips these are like full length um nails these are also from amazon and the inside's already roughed up so they adhere really well to the nail and then i'll just trim them down pretty much to the length my nails are now like i want them super short but i just need something covering my nail so i like to use these for that because it kind of like protects my nail when my nail's really thin and then the color that i'm going to do is this kiara sky color that's called cheer up buttercup Okay, I just got finished. I didn't love the color of the Kiara Sky nude that I picked. Like it was just a little bit too dark for me. The Cheer Up Buttercup. So I just went over it with the Jellish. This is like my favorite nude from Jellish. It's called Tan My Hide. I definitely need to order more of this because it's like the nude that I use all the time. Um, but yeah, here's how they turned out. Super cute. And this is like the fastest way for me to do my nails because I'm just using the tips and they do last a few weeks and I'm very rough on my nails. I would never use like the glue on ones if I was going for length, but whenever I want to just do shorter nails, these are perfect for that. Quick little PR haul for you guys from Case Defy, first of all. 
what you guys already know is my favorite brand for phone cases. I pretty much always have some sort of case defy phone case on and they sent me some new ones. So I just want to show you guys. This one is so freaking cute. Very, very aesthetic. Actually reminds me of my wedding nails. I posted on Instagram like asking you guys to vote on which nails I should do for my wedding and like the trendy swirly ones were the ones everyone voted on. So I did my nails like that. This case really reminds me of it and it's neutral and this one is actually um, one of their ones that's made from 65% recycled material. So it's pretty cool. The other one is from their Charlie Brown collection and they sent the one that says Bossy Lucy and I just think this is so funny. I feel like it's more of like a nostalgic thing to have. Like look at my phone case. It's so vintage. Actually, that's not true. I actually did used to watch Charlie Brown around Christmas time. That was like my favorite time to watch it. And the other one they sent is my favorite. I have it on right now and it is just like this white with like clear sides really pretty neutral colored leopard print. I just love it. Leopard cheetah print. I don't really know, but it's so pretty. So shout out to Case Defy. Make sure you guys use my discount code if you guys decide to get any new cases from them. They are absolutely the best phone cases. Ever since I started using them, I have never damaged my phone and yet I still drop it all the time. Other PR is from Pixie. And this is their Color Treats Perfect Blend of Skincare and Color. Oh, it actually got a little messed up. Okay, we got the Essence Oil Infused with Rose. I'm obsessed with serums and their packaging is so pretty. Then we got a glowy powder, a mineral rich powder that can be used as blush or highlighter. That is really, really pretty and sparkly. Lip Nourisher with Rose Hip and Vitamin E. Can't wait to use that because it has been cold as heck in Florida and my lips get so dry when it's cold. So I've been going through some lip balms lately. And then we got the Radiance Perfector, which helps blur and brighten the skin. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Pixie. They're one of my favorite brands to get PR from. I love that they're available at Target because I shop there all the time. So shout out to Pixie. I will link this whole collection in the description. Next task of the day is laundry. <laughs> doing my makeup for the day now and normally I would not do a full face of makeup for a Sunday because I feel like I'm usually just like working at home doing stuff around the house getting ready for the week on a Sunday but it's Super Bowl Sunday so we are going later to a little Super Bowl party we're not staying the whole time though and then I also have to film a sponsored video so I also want to put makeup on for that when I got married my makeup artist used the airbrush flawless filter foundation on me and I loved it so much that I bought it but I'm like so in between shades right now, so don't judge me if this is a little too dark. Um, my spray tan has like completely worn off and yeah, so it's probably gonna be a little dark, but I'm gonna try to use it sparingly. Oh yeah, and I got this thing on Amazon so I don't have to put it on my hand anymore. It's like a little heart-shaped mirror thingy that you can like pump your foundation on. eyeshadow palette was another find from my makeup artist on my wedding day i'm like obsessed with it it's the makeup by mario um master mattes eyeshadow palette amazing the colors are so good it doesn't have any like glitter it's all mattes but they're like the perfect neutral shades um and they're all warm toned which are my favorite so it's like a really this is like a really really good eyeshadow palette for every day Okay, I have a little TikTok hack to show you guys. I'm sitting here folding clothes and I'm about to hang up my jeans using these shower curtain hooks. Yes, sounds crazy, but I saw it on TikTok and I had to buy them because I'm just really shook. This just seems like such a good idea to solve my problems. I have so many pairs of jeans, maybe like 10% of the amount of jeans that I own. I honestly own way too many, but my biggest struggle is finding space for them. 
So when I saw this hack, I was so excited because it's a way for you to hang your jeans that's not just folding them over a hanger because I feel like it's a waste of space and it's just annoying, it's never really worked for me. But these, you hook them on here and I'll show you guys how it's done. You just loop them around like this on the belt loop, folded, and they hang really nicely. Once you hang them up, here's kind of what it looks like and it is so convenient, it takes up way less space than how much space jeans take up when you're like folding them inside of a drawer. And they just hang really nicely, you don't have to worry about them getting wrinkly or anything like that. And each little hook has like two sides to it so you can hang two pairs of jeans. It's also a really good way to kind of like do them by style. Like for example, these two pairs in the center here are both from Sunstyled, so I just kind of like put those together. These two are both from Abercrombie. These two are both like light wash with rips in the knees. So I don't know and then I got like my black jeans over here and I have way more So I'm gonna start using this to organize my denim just switched over my laundry And now I'm about to throw some quick waves in my hair before I start filming that video and then Chad and I have to go grocery shopping Just finished getting dressed and I ran out to the garage to check on my laundry and Chad is out there washing my freaking car. When I tell you guys I have the best husband in the world, oh my god. We were supposed to do that together today but he sees me in here just like trying to get stuff done and so he just clearly went out there and decided to wash my car for me. I love you. Way later now and I am heading to the Super Bowl party. It's actually at our neighbor's house our old neighbor's house who used to live next to us. She's so sweet and she invited us and she lives in this really beautiful community that's somewhere Chad and I had considered possibly for our second house. So we're kind of excited to check out the area. It's about 20 minutes from where we live now, but it's supposed to be in a really nice neighborhood. So we're excited. There are not really like two teams we are that interested in. No. The Bengals and who? The Rams. But both teams have a quarterback that I like, so. The Dodge Rams? No. Oh. Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> Why do I look like this right now? <laughs> you look like it too. We just finished the Super Bowl party. It's currently halftime. Chad really wanted to watch the halftime show, but we're at Publix instead. We have to grab some groceries for the week because Chad's on shift tomorrow, so otherwise I would have nothing and I'm babysitting Cali tomorrow, so I really need to get some food otherwise I'll end up door dashing or uber eats and I usually not right. yeah it's not right because then I end up not being healthy so oh look at all those roses don't you sneeze again the list get that broccoli Chad asparagus get that asparagus <laughs> Chad right there wait is this the asparagus that we get Okay. Why doesn't it look good? Actually, this doesn't look bad. That'll be alright. Blueberries are on the list. Got one chance. It's gonna make or break my oatmeal this week. These look good. I'm over here talking to the camera thinking it's you next to me and instead it's some woman. <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Why are you always trying to check if there's fried chicken whenever we're at Publix? Well, we can do it because I'm not, I, I haven't had all my dinner yet. I'm not like full. Oh, I'm sorry. The 10 chicken wings. Um... I've had two chicken wings. Two. Quit filming me. <laughs> That's rude. Dad really wants that fried chicken. Go get that fried chicken. No, I don't want that. Let's go. Do you want me to go back and get it for I you? I really don't want that. He wants the fried chicken. Oh. Also, if my lips are blue and my tongue and Chad's, it's because they had bun cakes there that made our what else is on the list? Mouth yeah. blue. Wait, did we get everything in the produce? I feel like we're missing something. Apples. That wasn't on the list. Look. All right. Well, you didn't tell me that. 
They have chicken wings. Yay, we're gonna make our lemon chicken wings. They're so good. Alyssa and Ivan showed that showed us that recipe and we're like obsessed with it. So we make it all the time now. He came back for the chicken, but it's not fried chicken. He got a rotisserie chicken. Called it. This could be us, but you play in. <laughs> Where's your stupid list? Oh sorry. <laughs> the list, the list. Granola bars. They used to have these in Lucky Charms and they were so good. They were like my favorite thing in the world when I was like a freshman in college. Back when that was like my breakfast. But we don't eat junk anymore. We are adults. I'm about to pick something nasty because it's healthy. What's it gonna be? Something with a strange name. Those usually work for me. Couscous, what? Quinoa. Oh. to help instead of just recording me doing all the This work. is more fun. Yeah. I like to just stand here and like yeah, walk so beside him. No, no, because I'm checking off the list. So I'm still doing something. Back home now, Chad's watching the Super Bowl and I'm doing a face mask now. This is my old favorite, but I haven't used it in a really long time. I honestly kind of forgot about it. It's a Clinique um, City Block charcoal mask. It is just like an old favorite of mine. It's so satisfying, like painting a face mask on. <laughs> just wiped off the face mask and my skin looks so good, you guys. It's the face mask, I'm telling you. I thought now would be the perfect time to try out this Pixie Serum. I'm really excited. It's so freaking pretty. It smells really nice. Feels really, really good on my skin. A clean face is a happy Melissa. Before I get to sleep tonight, I want to show you guys the new books that I got. When Chad and I were in St. Augustine, uh, we went to this secondhand bookstore that was so cute. It was beautiful and historical and just family owned, super small and quaint. I loved our entire time there. We both got two books while we were there and I just want to show you guys the books I picked out. I'm not going to be reading these yet though because I am in the middle of finishing a Colleen Hoover book right now and it is really, really annoying because I end up getting new books and if I'm not like completely into the book I'm reading I'll just like drop it and start a new one and it's such a bad habit if you have a short attention span then you will understand perfectly what I mean but it's like a really really bad problem so I'm trying to break the habit of not finishing the books that I start because I get excited about a new one so even though I got these we're not reading them yet but I got the good girl which is a New York Times bestseller I've heard about this one and I know for a fact it's a good one and then this one is actually from Oprah's book club it's an older one um, it's called say you're one of them and I really really like the storyline of this one kind of takes you back in time but also gives you like a different perspective on life I won't say exactly what it's about I mean you guys can look it up if you want to but it looks really really good so I also got this one completely different genres. I'm super excited about these new books, but we're not starting them yet Such a cute boy Chad's watching videos on his phone super loud. Does anyone else's man do that? I can't really end the vlog when you guys probably can't even hear me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I also want to personally thank you guys for your patience. There's been such a lack of content because of all of the stress that came along with getting married, but we are back to it now content's about to get a heck of a lot better and i'm so glad to be back to vlogging if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video